good. <laughs> yeah, that's real good. Delicious. It feels good. I saw them on Lake. It sounds like Hebrew. I'm about to eat this whole thing. <laughs> Welcome to the world of Islam. Hello from one of my favorite places in the world, Istanbul. My parents have never been to a Muslim country before. I've traveled with them to Vietnam, Korea, Ireland, Scotland, but they've never been to a Muslim country. I'm picking them up at the airport tomorrow morning and we're gonna have a blast. Don't go anywhere. Hey, good. What's up? Hi. Hey, what happened? Yeah. How are you? Welcome to Turkey. Did you know that you're in the Middle East right now? I do. That's okay. I'm with Chudinsky here. though. I didn't realize it was such a big city. It's massive. It's yeah. The biggest in the world. First steps. Oh, we are ready to go. Let's get out of these clothes and let's go. Hello, Istanbul. How Hello. You? you flew a long way from Arizona to Seattle to Turkey. Now we have the best tour guides in the world. No, the best tour guide is on his way. His name's Anu. Are you okay? Yeah, but I need like a few more minutes oh. to Hi. leave. This is my parents. Hi. Hello. So nice to meet you. I'm Anil. I'm Ellen. So nice happy to meet you. Me Hello, Anil. This is the corn. That's good. This is amazing. <laughs> it's different. The oh, texture is different. Oh, ma'am. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, I think it's fine now. <laughs> I love my parents. They are my best friends and I have a really close relationship with them. Over the years, I've taken them on pretty exciting trips, but this trip is different. They have absolutely no clue what we will be doing in Turkey. It's their first Muslim country, and as you guys know, Islamic countries are my favorite. However, as American Jews, they often aren't portrayed as the safest. And that's exactly why I'm so excited to take them to Turkey and change their perspectives over the next five days. All right, Dad, what do you see? Ice cream, yo. Up. Oh God! Come on! Allah, 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 Allah! Why, 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 why? Okay. Sorry. One down. Yeah, one try. Okay. <laughs> what do you think about that? That was great. Thank you very much. Kebab shawarma. Tam boshlam burası. All right, good. Thank you. Oh my god. Very good. Incredible. Chewy. It's so good. Uh, it doesn't melt. It's very flavorful. Flavorful. <laughs> Awesome. It's just a fun atmosphere. atmosphere. I can't believe I'm with Mama in I Turkey know. right now. Oh, I know. This is the country I always we want were, to take you to. We didn't know if we were going to make it, but I'm so glad. Oh, careful. Watch out behind you. Oh, wow. Oh, this is ideal. Oh, I mean, oh, yes. Wow. How huge it is. Those two buildings right there are the really famous mosques. They're like a thousand years old. That's Hagia Sophia and that's the Blue Mosque. We're going to go there tomorrow. That's impressive. So good. We just sat down for dinner and there's a live violinist. Just like me, my parents have a sweet tooth and they're gonna go nuts with all of the delicious Turkish desserts. That's good. Good morning, ready for, Mom. Ready for the day. I can't wait to get started. Mama, Shakira, Shakira. Shakira. Shakira, Shakira. How many dollars? $50, $70. Wow. That's $20. Perfect. For one by one, give for two, okay. $20, okay? For two. Happy, 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 happy. Happy, $20 each. Yeah, that's happy. I don't like it, but thank you. I know. Save my mom, please. Uh, here's my, here's here's my, my friend. Go ahead, yes. She's not interested in me. Thank you. Thank you for saving. <laughs> my mom is so easy to approach for everybody selling stuff on the streets. We're starting the day by taking the metro yeah. to the Hagia Sophia. <laughs> We arrived to one of the busiest areas of Istanbul and the first thing we're gonna get is a delicious Turkish lunch. I don't know if I could try it. Is this a thing? It's very salty. Mommy's trying Arya. Try that. I taste the yogurt. You gotta taste it. It's yogurt, water, and salt. It's, it's, it's not horrible. 
Oh, yuck. <laughs> well, what's the rolling powder with this? I don't want this thing. Like. <laughs> 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 Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. I like it with the lemon on it. That's good. Like Have you heard of matzo? It tastes just like it. I kind of like the chai. Well, cheers for you <laughs> drinking some tea. I love it. You know what really drink tea? He never drinks. I drink tea all the time. No, I never drink tea. Because it's cultural. It's good. Belly's full. It's time to take my parents to the most historical site in Istanbul. And of course, they need to dress the part. <laughs> I'll be looking. Welcome to Turkey. <laughs> you look adorable. It's comfortable. We've made it to the Hagia Sophia and Blue Mosque. This is one of my favorite courtyards in the world. My mom's getting yeah, haggled again. They make single nut. Turkey makes the double nut. Ah. Double nut is better than single nut. But do you have anything else besides present? Yeah. Uh, Turkish delight, lady bags. Jewelry, scarf. Oh, welcome to you. Yeah, I, I'm here. I'm. This is my job. I show you blue mosque. After the mosque, I show you we, my shop. We have somebody to show us the mosque, but thank you. Huh? Oh, sorry. Mom. Gosh. Oh, um, now we're gonna. Can't take me out. Sorry. <laughs> I just say no thanks. I like to talk to everybody. All right, we're about to enter the blue mosque. It is crowded. Mom and Diana are dressing the part. Can you say salam alaikum? Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. <laughs> Salam Aleichem. Salam Aleichem. It sounds like Hebrew. It's kind of weird. She's cute. It's weird. But it's cute. Feel it feels good. I feel like I'm part of the whole community here. <laughs> this is both of your very first time going in a mosque. It is. First time they've ever been in a mosque right now. Wow. In their life. Really? Yeah. I'm on earth. Shoes off? Yeah. Like we used to see all the blue like ornaments oh, wow. and everything. This is all construction. That's why it's blue most, but other construction. It's all construction. Uh, it's okay. you can see it's still under, beautiful. Under the thing. Yeah. When you finish praying, you just sit and count the praying beats. Yeah. Oh, Allah, right. Allah, 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 yeah. Allah, 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 Allah. 99. 99 times. And you there are three words. Allahu Akbar, Allah. Subhanallah and it's, it's incredible. I mean, the ceiling is beautiful. Are you hot in the hijab? A little bit. Mm -hmm. So what's the history of this building? It's like 1500 years old building and when they built it, it was a Christian church. And at that time, it was the biggest Christian church on the planet. But when Ottoman came here, they converted it to a mosque. Oh, then they awesome. used it as a mosque for years, like for 500 years. How do you say the name again? <laughs> Hagia Sophia. Hagia Sophia. What does that mean? It means uh, the Virgin Mary. It's very interesting, especially because I taught it in my book. So to hear it in real life and to really experience it is amazing, actually. Wow. This is cool. Wow. It's truly stunning, like the, the way that the paint is chipping off the walls, the huge domes. But I noticed in the neighborhood there's a mosque very close to all the houses, so it's not hard to get to one. If they're working, do they just stop working and pray? Uh, yeah, yeah, it is understandable. Is it a certain time of the day? Uh, in the sunrise, noon, afternoon, sunset, and after sunset. Wow. I'm very relaxed right now. So in our religion, the Orthodox have the women are separated from the men. And I feel like this is very similar to Judaism because a lot of the things, because I see the women are praying and the men are over there. So it's very interesting. Fundamentals of the religions are the same. Be a good person, don't lie, don't cheat, don't harm anyone. Like the real fundamental is the same. So it's so normal to see some similarities among the religions. Aww. Well, that was cool. Yeah, that was really pretty. Very pretty. Mama and Turkey. Wow, look at this. It's like an ocean. Oh, true. Oh, great. Oh, I felt some stick. Oh, you missed it. Over here, guys. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
pretty cool up here. Great pictures of the mall. We are now heading to the Grand Bazaar, one of the best places to shop in the world. How much is mom gonna buy? What you got? If she's already shopping. I don't know. She can't wait. I was gonna stop in that store. This is the oldest and the biggest shopping center in the world. Welcome. Wow, well, where do we start? Welcome. Thank you. How are you? I'm good, thank you. My first purchase. You are welcome. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Nice to meet you. From me for you gifts. Good luck. Very special. Nice to meet you. And this is only one eye. I've always wanted these shoes, but they're too wide. Do you have another color? My mom literally stops at every store. Okay, I'm gonna get three. It's the evil eye to protect us. It's like nice. the Stanley Cup. This store is insane. Look at all this art. This seems all Middle Eastern to me with the, with the fat and the skinny. But this, the, because of the shape. Because yeah. we want to have a piece in our house that, go, yeah. that came from Istanbul. Like so we want to get some of these clear teacups. teacups. Yeah, if he's going to mail these, Roma. we might as well get everything. Yeah. Price wise, this is more. Uh, that bigger. Look bigger, absolutely. Normally, we, we make the, the shipping half up. So you pay half, we pay half. With the shipping, it will be 1700 and this will be 2000 US. US, you're talking? We will do 2000 for everything with shipping to you. So this one, all those four plates, two of them, 2000 from here to Arizona. Not the price. It's a very, very good price. You can you ask him for the first time I'm seeing such a masterpiece. <laughs> so <laughs> you make Sir, I don't like to yeah. make it up and down. This is not our style. I, I, I know, but I and I'm not charging for all of those. The price will be the same. I'm gonna put two more glass <laughs> and two more cups. Is there a deal being made? We are yes. buying. Okay, three. shake his hand. Oh, did we agree to something? Two thousand. I give you how many gifts? Two, what? three gifts. No gifts. Normally, like this is no Jews, Turkish. Jews dealing with Muslims. You know, Turkish people like gifts, gifts, but only one. I give you three. It's a pleasure. So nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. We're gonna take a picture after. Please, I will do. Let's just just pull out them. Okay. Sold for two thousand dollars to Ellen and Danny. Thank you very much. What was your name? Danny. Danny. What's your name? Alan. Alan. Mura. Mura. It's on the car. I took it. We are now heading to. Uh, take the boat ride across the Bosphorus Sea from Europe to Asia. And along the way, gonna try some of these fresh fish. Delicious. It's good, it's really good. This is a really Istanbul thing to do right now. Sit here by the river with a beautiful mosque there. Deep fry it. Oh, they take it while you watch. Then shurub it, then it's ready to eat. <laughs> good yeah, that's like 90 cents. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if they're Freshly hot. Made. Is it hot? No. Oh god, is that good? Yeah. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah. That's real good. <laughs> that's real Delicious. Good. God, that was good. I'm glad I saw the guy walking around. I'm like, where are those? Look, ma. That's pretty good. It's like a crunchy donut with sweet, like honey sauce or something. All right, we are about to head on the ferry to go to the Asian side of Istanbul. The only city in the world that is split between two continents. 40 cents to ride the 40 ferry. 40 cents. What do you think about 40 cents? Incredible. The Asian side of Istanbul is my favorite. It's so much less touristy than the European side, but it still has so many charming cafes, beautiful mosques, and amazing dishes for cheaper. Just like that, we've entered Asia. Same city. We changed the continent. Welcome wow, to Asia. It's just bread and cheese. It's oh, sesame oil. Sesame oil. Uh, you want him to cut? Oh, yeah. Yes. I don't want to take it. Is it hot? Mmm. Oh, that's good. Um, oh, that's the, that's like one of my favorites so far. Oh, God. This is a random little shop. I think this is the, like one of my favorites so far. This is delicious. Istanbul was great, but all the tourists are exhausting and it's not the real Turkey that I wanted to show them. Now we drive by car to the south, to one of my favorite regions called Hatay. It's right along the Syrian border and I'm gonna pull a pretty funny prank on my mom. That mosque is beautiful. Look, the side. The border is just right. That mountain. 
Ooh. We're close. It's the ISIS walk these lands. Where are you going? Oh. Uh, I, can, I can get close. Okay. Do you want? No, 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 no. I don't want you out of the car. No, we're fine. No, we're fine. You're like... I don't want to get in trouble. You're like a half a mile from Syria. Uh, I don't want to get in trouble. That white wall right there is the That's like Mexico. That's pretty cool. I think it's the closest I'll ever be. See that guy with the gun? <laughs> Scared? You gotta look at us like, what are you doing? Big guns. Komutanım kolay gelsin. Merhabalar. Tabi arkadaşların pasaportları var. Yabancılar. Öyle mi? Tamam. Uh, he needs your passport. It's in the trunk. Abi bagajda biraz Here. I'll give you mine. Zordaymış. Kebap yedirdim. Detayda da meze yedireceğim. Thank you. Oh, you're... F okay. You're f okay, that was not fun. What happened? Explain. We had to stop, show our passport, but they had the guns and everything. And Luckily, we didn't have to get on that. There's yeah, war. Yeah, what did you say? This is a war zone. This is real life. <laughs> Look. Crossing the street here is tough. Yeah, yeah you, you've seen it. This is so funny, my mom still has no idea. This city is mostly Syrian. We're in a town called Kilis on the border of Syria and it's mostly Syrian. So you see Arabic writing everywhere, but my mom still has no idea. Buying a hijab for mom. I have a friend. Good. It's big, but I don't care. Looks cute. See? Ah, pretty, pretty. One, two, three. Okay. She's blessing him. Eyvallah. He was trying to like take some money probably, so he hold and like blessing, praying in Arabic and stuff, but. Okay. I knew it's kind of scam, so like... Yeah. Can I tell you the real reason why we came here? Uh-oh. Why? Because we're going to Syria today! No, we're not. Yeah, we're at the border right now. Come on, Drew. Yeah, we're at the border. We're just going to go for like just a couple hours and come back. What we're, are we going to do there? We're just going to hang out with people. Yeah. Let me show you the map. No, you're not. That line is Syria. We're like a mile from the border. We're not really. Yeah, we're going to go to Syria. Did you see the guys with the guns on the, earlier? He knows. You just drive in and then you just tell them to stay for like two hours and then they let you come, come back up. What if we get stuck there? What's the worry? Did you know that all the people here are Syrian? All the people, that's why there's Arabic writing and all the people with the women. They're all Syrian. You haven't noticed? So what if, I, mean, I don't know how to know. Abi, we just go to Syria for like two hours and then they, they will just let us come back in. It's literally like five, it's like a five minute drive. No, we should continue. Uh, no, we continue from there also. Let's do it. It's it's safe here. It's safe. There's no there's no attacks in a long time. There's no nothing's gonna happen. You'll be fine. I'm just kidding. We're not going to Syria. It's a prank. I could have gone with that a lot longer if I wanted to. We're we're not going to Syria, but we're very close. It's probably not a good idea. Right most now. of these people, right? I mean, most of these people. I would say the majority of these people are Syrian refugees around. You just haven't even noticed. Well, I the would, women, I mean, I wouldn't know. What the women that are covering their face completely yeah. are all Syrian, I would say, and a lot of the language in the street is Arabic. Yeah, I just saw some. That knew about the prank, that's why he wasn't scared. I'm not gonna, I can't mess with you that much. <laughs> you can. You became fully silent when I told her she didn't talk for like 30 seconds. The prank went well. So, the loudspeaker, it's coming right now from that speaker, see it? So th there's a guy inside saying that word. Is that recording? No, someone is speaking it. No, someone is speaking. They go, they're speaking it. It's not a recording. If you walk in the door, you'll see the guy in the microphone. Cool. Pretty cool, right? The people on the street are very friendly. Yeah, of course they're friendly. Have you seen my videos in Syria? They're great people. But just uh, the ISIS is what kind of ruined it. So, mom, that sign is Arabic. So that's all Arabic. Yes. So, so can you see sense. how that's different than Turkish? Yes. But now it makes sense, but I didn't notice that before. What do you think about this place? Cool. It is cool. It's just kind of there. It's, it's just... It's kind of poor. Yeah, it's very, very it's impoverished. Cool. More than the other places we've been. But it's just interesting to see another life that yeah. doesn't look like Scottsdale, Arizona. Yeah.
All right, welcome to Antakya. Antakya. How was the car ride? Great. The first thing I want to do here is eat. Are you hungry? Yes. Please watch out. <laughs> Don't get hit by a car, please. I love this place. There's a place in Syria that looks just like this. Yeah. How cute is this restaurant? That's the real stuff. Right? Wow. Very flavorful. Wow. Hummus come from Syria, so you're almost in the homeland. But, wow, why is that so much more flavorful than ours? Because here in where hummus was intended. That guy That's is for this man right here. You have to learn your can't catch. Can we like box it up and take it home? This is my all-time favorite bread, this one. The sesame seeds on it, freshly baked. All right, we had our delicious food in Antakya, and now I'm gonna take my parents to get some kanafe. Mom, come here, let me show you something. So in the markets of Aleppo, they, it's just soap. Donkey milk soap. Donkey this is milk soap. Goat milk soap. Donkey milk soap. Yes. Donkey milk. Right here, can you say kunafe? Kunafe. Yeah. We are gonna have some kunafe. It's a pastry, sweet pastry with cheese inside. This is called kadayuf. It is a super thin dough, cut and like it's kind of pasta, but not really. They mix it with this cheese, which melts, and after that. It's ready to eat. They serve it with pistachio on top. We are in the kanafe shop. You can smell it. This is one of the best desserts in the world right here. You have cheese, you have different pastry layers, honey, pistachios, all on top of each other for this one amazing dish. We're waiting patiently. Okay. Okay, let's try kanafe. This is the top. Cheers to kanafe. Mm. Wait for the cheese after dish. I see what you were talking about. It's incredible. Ooh, cheese. The texture, the, the flavor. Mmm. It's crunchy, salty, sweet. Mmm. It's my favorite dessert. I want one. Thank you. Thank you. Walking around these streets, I'm just reminded by how amazing it is in Antakya. These cobblestone streets, old historic houses. This is one of the birthplaces of Christianity. Actually, the word Christian was derived from one place in this city. It's really cool to be walking around here and even cool to be with my parents, as usual. Very cool city. Oh my God, he's so cute. He doesn't speak English. He'd be a foreign dog. Welcome to the Museum Hotel. Antakya. <laughs> Look at this. There's a whole ancient city underneath the hotel. It's the biggest one piece mosaic in the world. <laughs> it starts right over there and it goes to the other part. Not bad. You have a balcony to do now. Come out here in, a, in the pajamas. What's the name of the state? Hatay. Good. And what's the name of the city? Uh, Aunt Yaya. Nope. Aunt until, yeah, until Antikya. No, close. Antikia. I know, Antakya. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> the city is so vibrant and full of life. I mean, it's just fantastic. Look in there. Beautiful. It's beautiful here. What do you think? I love. Look at the color of the carpet. It's and beautiful. you feel the spirit. Yeah, it's very pretty. It's really, really awesome. a cool place. And this one was more than 800 years old. More than 800 years old. Now the real adventure is about to begin to a city in the south called Gaziantep, the culinary capital of Turkey. My parents literally have no idea what's going on. They are just following the leader. These are the people that. They'll just say, come to my house, come have some tea, sit down. They, they're so hospitable. All my videos that you see, yeah. this is the place where you'll see it the most. This is what I thought Turkey was going to be like. 
looks developed? Yes. Not in Phoenix anymore? Definitely not in Phoenix anymore. Hello. I'm really happy to see you. Nice to meet you. Here is this place. This hotel is hundreds of years old. Oh, you got a great view of the mob. This is old. Look at this. 150. You have a your own Turkish bath? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You sit on your little thing and you wash yourself. That's all the shower. And it's like a museum in here. Welcome to Gaziantep. We have finally arrived in the city center. A lot different than this temple. No tourists? No tourists. No Just fancy us. buildings? No, but it's very cool. This is the real Turkey, right, Avi? Yes. Welcome to real Turkey. Welcome to Gaziantep. Kebab time. I'm gonna bring it to the kitchen. Oh, 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 oh. There's the flatbread. Oh. And start eating. Look at how it's bumpy. It must yeah. be the way they yeah. grill it. We'll, we'll go to one of the bread shops and we'll see how they make oh, it. Oh, no. Oh, this is from hand? Wow. Oh, yeah. One tomato, can we have? I have to put one tomato and give me all these. Oh things. my god, wait. You can eat them like an apple. I can smell them. Oh god. Look at them. Oh, it looks like a pumpkin. They're juicy. That is the reddest tomato I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, just, just super juicy, well cooked. Good. Beef. Five or six years on this. Hot. The smell of that kebab is just outrageously tasty. I mean, oh, it's so fresh. Avi, Mustafa, Mustafa, this is my dad and mom. Shake, shake his hand. Put both cheeks. Do both cheeks. All right, that's mine. Hi, nice to meet you. Enjoy your meal. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your meal. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your meal. Enjoy your meal. Enjoy your meal. Gotta put some salad in there. And then you take a little bit of meat in the bread. Ah, oh, that's a sandwich, right? Mmm. <laughs> Very good. Um, this is so soft and so tasty as I remember. It's so amazing. Mmm. So juicy. Like the best kebab I've ever had. We shot here two years ago with Abi. One to ten. Mm. Ten is the best. One to eleven. Ten. Eleven. Oh, that's the best one. And uh, now I get to bring my parents here. So take a little bit of flatbread. Look at that. Oh, it's so soft and mushy. Mmm. How good is that? One of the best kebabs you can possibly have. Right here in Belgian Tep. Delicious. I can't even talk. I'm shoveling it in so fast. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Drink some water. The, 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 the green pepper. Oh, mmm. Oh, my God. It's good for your stomach. Yeah. It's a probiotic. Oh, you should have warned him. I'm actually sweating my eyebrows. <laughs> I like that hot pepper, but not that hot. Are you doing okay? He's down now. A little rough there for a while. Oh, you have no idea. It, it, it became his habit like no payment, no payment, but I'm just insisting to pay this time at least. Because last time we, we didn't. How long we're happy to pay? Hmm? He says 200 is enough. I said like whatever the price say it, don't, don't make it long, it's enough. He says. 200. It's like $14. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. It was delicious. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. This is the bread shop, Dad. Go in here. This is how they make the bread. Oh, look over there. Dad, the TV. What? Now we are in a really old mosque and in this area like those arches and all the stonework is so local. 
You have to wash your feet, so they take off their shoes oh, five times a day. Feet, hands, face. Yep. So every mosque will have a washing station. I've never seen you take so many photos in my life. Probably not coming back, but this is really cool. There's other places that want to take us. Exactly. In the world. Remember me? Avi. I brought my parents here. Mom and Dad. Hey, one more. Hey, one more. Chai, Turkish coffee, machine, water, yeah. anything yeah. cold. I'll have a Turkish coffee. Do you want chai or anything? This place is amazing. They have all fresh pistachios. You literally can't get fresher in the world than this. This is where they come from. Antep'i beğendiğine sevindim. So happy you liked Antep. And I'm happier that you brought your parents here so they have also seen. He says this pistachio is from this region. Some is coming from Syria, some is coming from Kahramanmaraş, Gaziantep. But they're just lucky that we named it as the nut of Antep. This is nut of Antep in Turkish language. Uh, thank Getting you so bigger. much. Thank you very much. One sugar. One shaker. Wow, it's written the Nirvana of pistachio. <laughs> the Nirvana of pistachio. It's good. Bu yarım kilo. It's half kg. He says you brought your parents here, so this is my gift. Thank you. We are now entering the mechanic street. We can buy all these little antique things. It's beautiful in here. Abicim ne kadar? 240. It sounds expensive when you first hear the price. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What do you think about your new shoes? I love them. They are very comfortable, actually. This is called Kolonya. So it is made out of pistachio, but the lemon one is the most famous one. It is 80%, 70% alcohol, and we were using it for like hundreds of years, and COVID came, and this became the most useful and least harmful disinfectant. You can try the pistachio one. But it's very cultural, they've been using it for years. This pistachio one. This place is pure magic. I mean, copper's paradise. Any kind of antiques, home goods, plates, traditional things can be sold here. What do you think about this street so far? Pretty cool. We are literally the only tourists here. That's okay. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. That's, that's why I took you here. It's cool to be the only foreigner around. Great, I'm about to eat this whole thing. <laughs> Does it get better than this? Oh, do you see that? Salt beer. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, 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 wow. Who wants to buy? Good morning. How do you say good morning? Good night in. Good night in. It's a beautiful morning here in Gaziantep, and we are heading for breakfast. Good night in. 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 This is a cool little place to eat. Look at the umbrellas. That's We've entered a little caravanserai for breakfast. A really beautiful spot. This is the teapot that we use in Turkey a lot. That part is full of um, boiled water and tea leaves. Mm. This is pretty, maybe intense, I can say. So we use like 30-40% of chai tea and this is only boiled water. And we fill the rest to reach the optimum color and optimum level. So this is how we serve and this is the method makes us to drink like five, six cups like per meal.
Good morning from Turkey. Good morning. Woo, look at this food. United. United. <laughs> United. Time to feast. You can also do like this. Mmm. Oh man, that's good. That's strawberry jam. Mm. It's as, uh, as last. Those are the best olives you'll ever have in your life. Yeah, they're with seeds. It's fresh off the press. I'm gonna have some eggs. They're like mushlunas. They're salty olives. Yeah. Delicious. Have a little protein with the breakfast. Oh, is that the bill? Yeah. How do they do it in a treasure box? 400 lira. 30 dollars. 24. Is that cheap, Dad? Very cheap. Oh, that was good. Hit the spot. Right now, I'm gonna take you to get my favorite dessert here in Gaziantep. It's called Katmej. Katmej? Yes. It's right in front of us, this shop. I came here last time. You like pistachios, right? I right, check this out. Is there sugar water? What makes it sweet? What's in it? A little bit of sugar, a little bit of milk cream, pistachio, and dough. This is the dough. Yeah, you just barely put any sugar. You see that? How cool is that? It looks like intestines. A snake. Are you confused on the payment system here? He wants to pay first every day. It doesn't matter if you don't pay. Like if we say like, oh, we forgot our wallet in the hotel. Can we pay later? Can we pay tomorrow? They're all okay. Yeah. They say nothing. Oh, beautiful. Wow. That's beautiful. And they put pistachio on top. Dig in, mama. Look how crunchy that is. Here we go. All the hot. <laughs> wow. Good. Look at those big eyes right there. Very flavorful. It's a little hot. One to ten. Oh, wow. <laughs> mm. Hot. Mmm. Wow. Uh, flaky on the outside, gooey on the inside, covered in pistachios. Oh man. Dad, everybody always asks me where the name Binsky comes from. So where does it come from? So you were just really young and you were really, you were really, really, really fat legs. <laughs> so I had to call you something. It wasn't just Drew. And it was Binsky, like Balloon Binsky, Drew Binsky. And that is the foundation of Binsky. It doesn't mean anything. It means absolutely nothing <laughs> except it kind of rhymed with Binsky. And it was kind of a cute little Binsky. The secrets are revealed. The secrets are out. That's it. <laughs> How are you? Hello. Hello. Look, look at this place. All kinds of deliciousness only found here in Gaziantep. Thank you. These are good. They melt in your mouth. Mmm. These are good. These are really good ones. I think the best ones yet. I think so too. Mm. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Bye bye. Gule gule. Bye bye. That guy's so cool. That was fun. He was a great guy. It's cool that I met these people two years ago and then I come back and they're so happy. They're to so see happy. You. The food here is unbelievable. Fresh, delicious, taste that I've never had before. And you keep on feeding me. It's like I'm about to <laughs> blow up. <laughs> Dad, come look at these sunflower seeds. Look how they make them. Come here, right here. Oh, oh, oh no, these are pistachios. Sometimes they do sunflower seeds. They take the out? Yeah, it's hot. It's hot. Ah, ah, come on. Dirt, gokus, 80 lira. 80. Oh, hold on. Why is that funny? I just cracked. When you hear 180, it's like, oh my god, and it's like four dollars. 
<laughs> Mom likes the Turkish tea so much that she's buying her own teapots. Do you want Mom, always wins the battle. Are you buying that one? The teapot, I'm thinking about it. Ooh. I can't think of something better. Oh, that one? Oh, I like that one better. Yes. That's pretty cool. Why do you like that one better? Look at the handles. It's all more detail. It's so sweet and this sweetness stays in your mouth for like 30 minutes. Yeah. Whatever you eat, you eat pickle, it will be sweet. Okay. It's interesting. It's very sweet. It's just like weird. I don't know what that is. I know. Like licorice. Yeah, black licorice. It makes your immune system stronger. It cleans your throat. Help you to lose the stones in your kidneys. Oh no! It opens all the um, to peeing system. I don't know how. Frosting. Yeah. It tastes like black licorice. Mm -hmm. I think it tastes like black licorice. Shopping, shopping, shopping. I'm blown away by the freshness of the fruits and vegetables and even the nuts. Look at this. Look at all the bread. I mean, it's just huge. Eat it as an apple. It's like a softball. That's turkey. Great. Whoa. Oh my god. That's all original. Excavated. Whoa. You can walk. We're walking oh, over the excavated ground from the Gaziantep Castle right below our feet. Okay, don't walk on this piece. <laughs> yeah. So what's the history of this building? This is the castle of Gaziantep. This is an important stop on Spice Road and Silk Road. So every city on this uh, route has that kind of castle to protect the rulers and the like soldiers and everything. We're standing in front of one of the oldest citadels in the world. It's about 2,000 years old here in Gaziantep. Look at this beauty. Still pretty intact. Are you sure? Hello, Abby. Nice car. All right. Welcome, welcome. We have our rental car and we are now driving to the city is very famous for its ice cream. They say that it's the original place where ice cream came from in the whole world and it's where Turkish ice cream came from. So I know you guys are gonna love it. Yes, and we have the best Uber driver ever. We have one mission right now and that is to find the ice cream. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Here we are at the famous place with the long line. Welcome to Kahraman Maraş, the home of ice cream. They are doing this ice cream for over 150 years. All the flavor and the hard texture comes from that. That's just what makes it hard. It is called Sahlep and it is like a cousin of orchid. That's the root of that plant. They harvest it and then they prepare it, prepare the ice cream with that uh, salep and it gives the special taste and the texture which you will understand in like a minute. Oh, look how he dipped it. Oh, oh he just gave it to you. Oh, hard. Dad has been craving that. There it is. In the homeland. You have to bite the ice cream. How was that experience? Best ice cream I've ever had. Thank you for the city, whatever it's called. Kahraman Marash. Kahraman Marash. Just call it Marash. Marash for making ice cream. What a crazy and fun 100 hour journey it's been in Turkey with my mom and dad. This is the best trip I've ever taken with them and I'm so proud of them for being spontaneous, open-minded, and adventurous. I think this will pave the way for the next trip to either Pakistan, Iraq, Lebanon, or similar. I will remember these moments for the rest of my life. All right, well, we just conquered Turkey. We did almost a week. Amazing. Totally different than I ever expected. What do you think? Yeah, I never want to come to Turkey, but what we experience is unbelievable. This is your very first Muslim country. First Muslim country as Jews, as a Jew. What do you think about oh, peaceful, friendly people? Wonderful. Very friendly. Yeah. The food's incredible. I didn't have any problems at all. What do you think about like the mosques <clears throat> and the worship rooms, all that stuff? I found it very interesting. It was very nice to learn about their religion. 
see some similarities to being Jewish. It was just really nice to, to see them and see them in their own homeland and their own culture. What do you think about the, the hospitality of the Turkish people? Very nice. Uh, very hospitable. I just met a man for the first time. He spoke English. He gave me four postcards <laughs> to take home just as a gift. They're more genuine and kind-hearted than most Americans. And they're you? always hitting their heart, like, you know, nice to meet you, but in the heart. It's not, you know, it's sincere. It's not just to be nice. How oh, nice everybody. Just even driving in a car. Everybody wants to hit you and nobody flips you off like in America or yells yeah. at you. Everything's calm. Well, it was a great trip. Thank you for coming Thank to Turkey. You. Thanks, Thank you. Thanks, buddy. I'm Drew Binsky, and thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to this channel in the bottom left if you want to see more adventures from every country. And in the bottom right, you will find my second channel, which are bonus travel stories that have never been seen. Lastly, on that middle link, I'm giving away for free my best flight hacks. Until next time, stay safe, be spontaneous, and just go.